identification of textile fibers as a textile engineer we should know the how to identify the textile fibers a number of methods are available for characterization of structural physical and chemical properties of fibers but various methods are used for fiber identifications like burning test solubility test microscopic test and hand fill test the first three methods we can identify the fibers easily by using some equipments procedure by observing their physical and chemical characteristics of fibers but the fourth method the hand fill test requires experience or perception if it is to be of any value so that the skilled perception or experience we will get only after handling many different fabrics over a period of time first we are going to learn the identification of textile fibers by using burning test for conducting burning test we need to maintain some precautions that is burn fibers carefully and keep your body parts safe from flame by using safety arrangements next keep fire extinguishers nearby and always have water nearby or have some in the bottom of your burn dish let's begin the burn test with cellulosic fibers that is cotton viscose rayon etc observations we need to observe the following points while burning above fibers when approached to flame that is when we contacting the cotton and viscose fiber to the flame it doesn't fuse or shrink from flame when in flame burns with light gray smoke when removal of flame continuously burns the cotton and viscose fiber continuously burns after removing from the flame this residue it is fine gray ash and the order is burning paper the smell of the cotton fiber while burning just like a paper burning cotton fiber contact with the flame it continuously burns after removing from flame with a yellow flame see we are observing the smoke we are observing it's uh, smells like a paper or wood burning see that's gray smoke and residue it's a yellow sorry it's a fine gray ash color and it we can crushable easily next viscose rayon just like a cotton fiber it's burning continuously let's see see it's continuously burns here we observing the residue of viscose rayon is less than a cotton fiber residue this is also smells like a paper or wood burning just like cotton fiber and the rest to is fine gray ash we can easily crushable next protein fibers that is silk and wool fibers observations when approached to flame curls away from the flame when in flame burn slowly when removal of flame may self extinguish means it stops burning when 
be removed from flame residue crushable black ash and odor just like burning hair silk yarn contact with flame see we are observing silk yarn itself stops burning when the flame contact we avoid see we get black residue we can crush away into black powder next acrylic fiber and the observations of burning that is when approached to flame it melts and pulls away from the flame when in flame burns slowly when removal of flame continuously burns and melts residue hard black bead that can be partially crushed order chemical order acrylic yarn contact to flame see initially it pulls away from flame and melts see after it continuously burns and melts and the order of this acrylic while burning just like chemical order means chemical burning smell see the residue is hard black peat and we can partially crush it nylon fiber the burning observations of nylon fiber when approached to flame shrinks from heat and pulls away from the flame when in flame burns slowly when removal of flame may self extinguish residue hard cream or black bead order celery burning next nylon fabric contact to flame see it's initially shrinks and pulls away from flame burning smell of nylon fiber is just like celery means vegetable burning smell and it's itself self extinguish means it stops from stops burning when removal of flame and finally it burns continuously and melts see its residue is just like cream hard bead or black next polyester fiber burning observations when approached to flame melts and pulls away from the flame when in flame melts and burns when removal of flame continuously burn and melt residue hard black bead and harder sweet chemical order polyester contact to flame see its melts and burns continuously melts and burns we are observing its melting and burning continuously and the smell of the polyester while burning just like sweet smell means sweet chemical smell see the residue of the polyester 
is brittle hard black bead and we cannot crushable easily next acetate fiber burning observations when approached to flame melts and pulls away from the flame when in flame burns slowly when removal of flame continuously burns and melts residue hard black bead that can be partially crushed order acrid or shorter means the smell is very unpleasant and bad acetate yarn contact to flame see it shrinks from flame and pulls away from initially and after it continuously burns and melts and the smell of the acetate just like acrid odor means it very unpleasant and bad and the residue of the acetate yarn is little black hard bead and we cannot easily crush it 